Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And yesterday I did a new video on a new way to do a 3D. It's not uh, probably the best way, but it's so easy and it gives a pretty cool effect. Uh, this is a star and you can see the white where the laser didn't even touch it. I did sand this, you know, the burn residue, so it sanded off that little bit of white that didn't touch. And then on this wheel, it all depends on which direction the light in the program is coming from. But this is what they look like, and it's pretty cool. The star is really easy, so I'm gonna do the star. So let's just take a, under your polygon tool, you have your star. Hold down your control button and make a perfect star. Make that star black. Control D and make a duplicate and make the new star gray. So you've got a gray star and you can kind of see, a, already you can kind of see a, the outline of the black star. <clears throat> then with the gray selected, go up to effects, texture, relief sculpture, and there's a lot of things you could, look at that already. I mean, I'm doing 100%, 100%, 100%. Uh, you can change your, so if you look, the white's over here. So we change it to like 15 degrees. Now your light is on this side. So it's like the sun is shining on this side or the light, and then it's dark on that side. <clears throat> and then all I did is I actually converted it to a bitmap because you need to do that to run. So if you haven't watched uh, the other videos, you might want to back up. So I'm going to turn it into a grayscale bitmap. It makes it engrave a little bit better. It actually kind of fuzzies it up, but for some reason it really works. So I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Well, maybe you can't when it's a bitmap. So we'll just do it from right here. We're gonna make a duplicate of that guy, control D. Holding down the shift and the control button, I'm gonna bring that in. And then I'm gonna recenter it. So you can get a lot of different looks. I'm gonna actually, holding down the control button this time, bring it and make it a little bit littler. I wonder if CE will work. Nope, because it's a bitmap, it's completely different, but you could center it so let's back up here and see, let's do something. But let's don't convert it to a bitmap. Let's back up one more time. It's a control polygon. Let's hit, well, evidently the texture effect is what's doing that, not allowing you to, to uh, move it. But let's just control D and make a duplicate of that. Control D to hold down and bring it in. And then just, if you want, control D and make one more. Look how little it made it. So we need to back up and just grab it, control D. Con uh, when you duplicate something, sometimes it'll, it will uh, actually keep going the opposite direction. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. And you could nudge it over. If it's close, change your nudge factor. And see, you have to get way off your... I was having trouble doing this last night to get my nudge factor to show up. The texture tool kind of evidently kind of takes over. And then you could click on that star and nudge it minutely around with your nudge key to get a little bit closer. But that's how I did that star right there. And what it does, and then you need to run it in 3D mode. And it's not a true 3D, but for what it's worth, it it's, uh, works pretty well. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.